Bead to block. Phase one, raw material. Expanded polystyrene, also known as EPS, is a rigid, closed cell, thermoplastic foam material produced from solid beads of polystyrene, which is polymerized from styrene monomer and contains a small percentage of blowing agent in the polystyrene bead. We utilize both EPS and GPS at AMC. GPS stands for graphite polystyrene, which is essentially EPS with the addition of graphite particles. These particles are infused into polystyrene beads, enhancing their thermal performance. The graphite reflects and absorbs radiant heat, significantly improving the performance of the end product. Phase two, pre-expansion. During the pre-expansion process, these beads are exposed to steam, causing the blowing agent to expand 20 to 50 times its original size, similar to popcorn. This expansion creates beads filled with air, making EPS a great insulator. The beads come in a variety of different sizes and types. The smaller the bead, the higher the density you can achieve. The bigger the bead, the lower the density you can achieve. This allows EPS to be manufactured into a wide range of products, from packaging to very compressive sheets used under concrete slabs or roadways. The pre-expanded beads are then stabilized by drying and aging. Part of the drying process starts in the bed dryers on the pre-expansion machine, which mixes warm air to help remove any moisture from the EPS. The EPS is sent into the silo room for additional drying and aging. Phase three, silo room. The beads are stored in mesh silos for a period ranging from several hours to a few days. This aging allows the beads to stabilize. This process is essential to ensuring consistent quality and density in the final product. When the pre-expanded bead is cured, it is then transferred by air and hoses to the two different sides of manufacturing, shape molding and block molding. These two different processes involve a lot of the same steps. The first being they both involve a second stage of expansion, where the pre-expanded bead is again exposed to steam. This allows the EPS beads to fuse together without any additional product. Then it is shocked with water and ejected from the machines as a finished product. The main difference between the two types of molding. Shape molding creates a specific predefined shape which the mold was designed for. While block molding creates a large uniform block which can then be cut into sheets and shapes on wire cutters. AMC is a proud manufacturer of a variety of different shape molded and block molded products, which include ICF, radiant floor panels, and a wide range of different sheet products.